Hey what's up brothers, Viper here and today I'm going to teach you all the secrets you have to know about using these in these. For any kind of outdoor activity, it's an absolute necessity to have a good tactical or outdoor boot. But as long as you don't lace your boots properly, you still might experience some serious discomfort. Our experience comes from the airsoft world, but also from the shoe industry. With this knowledge, we've come up with one specific way to tie your boots in order that they can provide you the best kind of stability, but also the best comfort possible. We've also implemented a slight adjustment for people with a high arch type of foot. Now how to determine this? This can simply be done by tying your boots the way you're used to and if you feel like the top of your boot is too narrow on your feet then you actually have a high arch type of foot. To start off make sure you use the right kind of socks and also use the right kind of laces. All this information and much more can be found in another video we've already put together. We will put the link in the description down below. Start off by putting your heel properly to the back end of your boot. This way your foot can't move around freely when going downhill when your boot is properly laced. Divide your boot into two sections, namely one for the front of your foot and one for your ankle. The one for the front of your foot allows you to make it as tight as you like in order to provide your foot the right amount of space and the right amount of comfort. The one for your ankle provides your ankle with the right kind of ankle stability. In order to lock these two separate sections, you can simply use a double loop. For people with a high arch type of foot, you can simply bypass the pressure point to remove the tension. Next comes the four point locking mechanism. This way your ankle is stabilized with the tension divided over your whole ankle. You also prevent making a bottleneck because you never over tighten your boot and also won't be able to cut off blood circulation like that. At last we have the knot. For this we use the our so called no worry knot. This knot will not come loose in any kind of situation and will also not become stuck due to clamping or moisture. This knot is also very easy to untie. Thanks for watching this video, hope this was educational, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell button, put your comments down below and we'll see you guys next week.